Brendan, Munster AIB final against Valley Gunner. But just to refer to, reflect on Boris Lee and the history and all that kind of stuff, do you think that history of, you know, the glorious past means something in terms of the club? Uh, I think it does, yeah. Um, it probably, I suppose, as a player now, after winning the county final, you kind of feel that little bit of a lift of you're not in the same category as those guys, but like you feel like that you've achieved something, you know, along the same lines as what they did. We grew up like listening to all the stories of of those lads from the 80s, and you still listen to stories and the characters that they had. It was unbelievable. And um, when you walk into Stapleton's pub, like in Bursley, and you see all the pictures of all the winning teams, and I suppose the fact now that we'll have a photo up there, it, it means you know it means a lot in your your own club. So um, you know that history kind of it gives us a lift and it gives you motivation then as well, like that we were kind of saying like well, we want to create our own little bit of history and. Not that you're sick of listening to the stories about those lads, but ah, we are. <laughs> um, but like you, you are thinking like God, you know, we want to we want to be remembered, you know, in some way, like they are, and uh, that's on your mind, and it certainly gives you a motivation, and I think it gives you a little bit of belief then as well to say like, well, if that group of fellas did it, like you know, we know them so well, and you know, like why can't we do it? Yeah, because like a lot of clubs that come in with their first monster final or first county final or whatever, they come in and it's the talk of the bonus territory, which of course came out yeah. before the Glen Rovers game. But because Burroughs have a history of winning stuff and there's probably straight away kind of changes from bonus territory to expectation now because of the past. Is that fair? Yeah, maybe a certain element of it, but I think you have to look at, at what you're facing as well. And yeah. we're coming up against a belly gunner team now that going into their third monster final in a row after winning six county finals in a row in Waterford, I mean, you're coming up once against one of the top teams in the country, mm. um, you know, and they've proven that. That's not an opinion, that's fact. Like So uh, we're under no illusions of what we're facing like, and what we're up against, but we'll give it everything. That's all we can do. And that's what we've kind of done all year is we've kind of said, you know, let's make sure we give the best of ourselves and be proud of the performance that we give um, because there is a real sense of we're representing our community like and... You know, we all know what has happened over the last 15 months that's really kind of galvanised the community and we feel like we're we're representing something positive now and that kind of lifts the spirits of the people of the community and that this is another opportunity to do do something that will create a little bit of a buzz around the place again. Mm. Ballygunner have won, I think it's seven of their last eight games in Munster, whereas as a team, Burris Lee have played just one this particular team. So And and people are already talking about, you know, this Ballyhale versus Ballygunner final mm. and all this kind of stuff. Did you feel on their side that they're coming in as a very, very assured team and you're not 100% sure how the Burris lads will react to being on this stage? Yeah, like, I mean, they have the experience and, uh, you know, like we're coming in, obviously, our first time playing the Munster mm. final. Um, but, you know, look, in saying that, like we have massive belief in each other and um, there'll be no doubts going out on the pitch on, on Sunday. You know, It's not that you have no doubts you're going to win, but I've no doubt that we're going to perform mm -hmm. and that we're going to give the best of ourselves. And like that's all we can do. Um, and Bally Gunner obviously have the experience of playing in Munster Finals, but that also brings pressure as well. And look, they're well able to cope with it. But, you know, like w all I can say is that we know we're underdogs. We know we're you know, massive underdogs going into it. And we're not going to try and say other any other way other way. So um the only thing we're I'm sure of is that we'll give our best and that's all we can do. Like this is probably well this is definitely your longest season ever with Burris Leaders, but you know, just a county final in twenty seventeen, a semi final possibly before that, and then a lot of quarter finals. Yeah. Does the that idea of a journey that you hear so often by teams who go deep into the championship, is that something that resonates with you and you can actually feel that you wouldn't have appreciated it before? Yeah, it is now and it's probably just the last three or four weeks even yeah. you really start to get that sense of it. Going down training when it feels like pre season training but you're getting ready for a big game, it's weird like um and just the buzz that's in the dressing room, like the, everyone got a lift, you know, even the guys that, you know, weren't lucky enough to play in the county final or the last day, you know, they are coming down with a smile on their face and like we're all part of the one thing and we all have this one thing in common now. And uh, it's a great, it's a great feeling and it's great to be, it's great to be training together at this time of the year and, uh, you know, we don't want it to stop like so, that's what, you know, we'll, we'll go out and give it everything now on Sunday. And final question then about Johnny Kelly, you probably answered this before, but what has he brought that Burris needed? Um, look, a lot of things. I mean, the experience that he has, I suppose, he has obviously picked up um, a lot of a lot of things over the last number of years. I, I suppose he's brought a, a, maybe a, a tactical element, I suppose, to our play in terms of how we set up and how we how we defend against teams and how we uh, you know know our role, I suppose, individually. 
Um, whereas I suppose maybe in the past we might have depended too much on our ability alone and just kind of playing off instinct a little bit too much. Um, and it's not to say that we're gone really tactical, we're not. We're probably one of the most least tactical in, in tip anyway, but um, he definitely has brought a bit more organisation to us and guys are very clear on what they have to do for the team and, and I think you know, he's very good at managing egos and managing like that nobody feels like that they're the main man or nobody No feels. egos in birth. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, so like he's he's very good at managing that like that. We we've different lads will step up in different ways and that's it's appreciated as much as the guy that scores or the lad that gets the headline in the paper. It's it's not really it's not valued in, in our group. It's just like everyone does what they're supposed to do and we enjoy doing it. Just one final thing then, having watched Bally Gunner play against Patrick's Well and haven't seen him over the last number of years, they're a team that's assured playing on this stage. Patrick's Well had been here once before in, in Munster. Um, they seem to just leave a load of scores behind them, whereas Bally Gunner are the sort of team that punish you all the mm -hmm. time. And because Burris are novices at this level, that is the one sort of that is the one sort of concern, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. If you're going to make mistakes, you're going to be punished. Um, it's probably going to be as close to the inter-county level um, that you're going to get now on Sunday. And I think their conversion is something around 70%, like, so that would be inter-county standard. And like, we're obviously mindful of that, but it's not going to change the way we approach the game. Um, we want to try and focus on ourselves, and we acknowledge that we're coming up against a serious outfit, and we're massive underdogs, and all we can do is just give our best. Best of luck. Thanks, William.